Hey everybody, what's going on? Um, so, we're gonna be, today's gonna be a more serious video, guys. We're gonna be talking about, um, I literally got, well, not literally, but I've been back for a couple hours. I went to Easton's this weekend. Um, it just wasn't a good weekend. I'm gonna put it back like that. It's a very, it's gonna be a serious video about things, what happened. Um, just, Everything, I'll tell you the whole story. Everything from the start was just bad. Um, just, and then, not, and with this going, is going ever since my last birthday, it's my depression. I'm gonna admit, I do have depression, it's gotten a lot worse. And, I'm getting worried, and I know every, every, I keep, when people, when I tell certain people, they're like, oh, you need to get some help, blah, blah, blah. It's not the fact, I do need help, but not like, medication-wise, I just need to get the root of the problem fixed. And I know what the root of the problem is. I'm unhappy, bottom line. And I know what I need, and I'm not going to get into super big, big details, but it all led up. So basically, what happened with the weekend? I don't know how long the video's gonna last. Was I okay? I bought the ticket, the badge with our tickets months and months ago, and I kept waiting for them to send it, and they never did. Um, and um, they just never did. So they finally sent me a couple days before the convention. State, I um. Had to come pick them up the wolf. I'm like, that's fine, no problem. Okay, so that's that's fine. That's solved. Well, before the convention, I ne I didn't get a chance to get a hotel, and I was I was irritated because I didn't know when the slots opened up for people to start re reserving. So this past couple months, and I'm talking about months, people, I've been trying to get on their forms. And they have a roommate zone, a room zone, or whatever they were, a room zone, or they call it. They wouldn't, the damn forms never would let me in. They would never let me log in. I already have a long from last year because that's how I got a room last year with somebody. So I'm like, okay, what's going on? So I, I contact, I email, you know, it took, I tried waiting and re registering and using different emails and nothing wanted to go through. So. I, I can't I put it on their Facebook page I tried finally contacting them and I was like I was getting really irritated and tired because I kept seeing people do passing a week at least a week and a half two weeks you know with it coming down to the, to the wire looking for people and some of them were right across the street of the convention center and I couldn't a couple weeks ago about maybe three weeks ago my friend you mentioned him his and his friends were going to Get a room, had a room, um, and um, they were, they were, um, I'm sorry if I'm not looking at the I don't like to do jump cuts, but I might have to, but they were, um, they were, um, they were getting a room, and you would ask if I could stay, and it eventually came, yes, it could, and then I saw the, the location where it was at, and it was quite distant, it was like a 10 minute drive, which is like an hour walk, and I didn't walk it, okay. So that's that's don't don't think I walked it because I didn't walk it. I had he ended up having a friend drive me back and forth. Anyway, so anyway, it comes to Thursday afternoon. He says, "Okay, I'll pick you up at one." I'm waiting, I'm ready, I'm waiting to go. It's gonna be a great weekend. I saw, okay, I knew the hotel was far. I'm like, I have to just deal with it. I have to. I didn't know how bad this was gonna be. Anyway, so we. He finally picks me up like two. He messaged me saying, okay, I'm relay, I'm waiting for whatever, blah blah blah. And picks up two. We go pick up his other friend. She was nice. Um quiet but nice. Um she we finally get her it's not about two forty five to we le actually leave in her place to go and she was only a couple minutes drive from my place, so she was we were, she was really late. So we finally get going and and we get on the highway, we're going there, but then on the way there's the thing we start getting lost, we start getting everything was going wrong. And we finally get to the hotel. 
Um, from there, not much went wrong on that night, except for I didn't get to bed till 2.30 the next morning because everything started going wrong. Again, his nose started bleeding, my friend's nose started bleeding uncontrollably, and everything was like, we had way too many people in the room because we had two other people in the room that were going to have to transfer hotels the next day. Um, it was just a, a ridiculous it was horrible. So, I was exhausted, super tired the next day. So, I got my badge the Thursday and everything. Super tired the next day. And when I get tired, I get very emotional. And I started getting very depressed at the convention. I, I was hoping to wear my Starfleet outfit, and I couldn't because I, had, I can't be in that thing more than a couple hours. And I would like to freely change. And I was not happy. I really wanted to go and be in it, but I couldn't. So I just wore my new wizard outfit and um, some other stuff. And then um, I changed later for my my air, my uh, black arrow costume or shadow costume because I thought we were playing D and D. And we never got to. It. But anyway, so I'm there and I'm getting super depressed and. Seeing all these cosplayers, and their cosplays look really nice. They look professional, or even more professional than mine. And I just started getting really depressed about it. I was like... And I also don't like going to conventions alone. And I've always gone to them alone, and I don't have anybody to, to share that with. And that was getting me really depressed and down. And then it came time for them to pick me up. Because I called them. It was like... I was at... And then... Now, sorry that diverged, we had lunch, which was fine, but then all of a sudden, for some reason, I got some sort of, I don't fight it, the something that I ate for lunch was, got me sick or something, but also my stomach started hurting, I started feeling super, that everything was going wrong. So, um, I just couldn't, you know, I couldn't stay there long, any longer, because I was like, I was getting too depressed about the cosplayers and everything, and I was, just, just couldn't do it, and I wasn't feeling it, and um, so I, I, I call him, and I'm like, oh, 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 okay, we're playing a game, we'll be done in about five minutes or so, like, so, okay, so, and it's only about ten minutes, so I'm like, okay, 15, 20 minutes, so I go out, and I stand out there, and, you know, I'm waiting and waiting and waiting, you know, good, 45 minutes passes by, yeah, 45 fucking minutes. I call them and they go, oh, we're just about to leave. And I'm like, wait, you're just about to leave. It's been 45 fucking minutes, dude. I could have fucking took an a Uber or Lyft over to the damn place by now. If I would have known this shit. I mean, I, it was, don't get me wrong, I was really appreciative. But at that point, I was super pissed and irritated because I was already tired and depressed and upset. And I was holding from breaking down right there. And I was going to think about doing this video kind of in the hotel room that night, but they really didn't leave. Just, as I said, everything was going bad. And I was just like, I don't feel it this year. I don't, I mean, it just wasn't a good year for me. So it's a Friday night, they go, they go, um, most of them go to the rave. You know, one guy stayed at the hotel. He was fine. He was quiet, which is good. Um, and I had some food and got a shower. We got to bed. I got to bed around 11.30. So I slept pretty much throughout the night. Woke around 6.37. Got ready. And next day, I felt better Saturday. I don't know what happened. I think it was something I ate. Because I know the night before, I... I Got my food and I just took it back upstairs and I was like, I'm done, I don't look like eating. But again, right after I ate the food I had from the night before, I, my stomach started hurting again, like really bad. But I didn't think it would go bad that fast, but um, I don't know what it was. So like for two days, I was just, my like, stomach was hurting and I was sick. Um, and, and then one day I was super tired, the next day I wasn't as tired, but you know, as the night drew on, I got more and more tired, more and more tired. Which was last night. Damn, see, that's how out of it I am. God, it's already Sunday. It's the last night. It's the last night. Yesterday. So, 
I ended up hanging out with some friends um, that were working the convention. My stomach stopped because I, I, I kept going to the bathroom trying to, like, you know, I have to go, I have to go. Do not be afraid. Please. I understand you might be a little embarrassed or you have cosplay with you. Do not be afraid to use the restrooms if you have to. Please. Do not hold it or wait till you go to your hotel. Sometimes you have to do it at the convention center. Just, I've had that very issue and I've, it's taken me years to get over it. Um, but it, it's to the point that I'm, I'm comfortable now as a tangent, you know, just to give you a heads up. But, um, so we hang out last night, we had Chinese food. Because it, it, what's funny is I ate the food just now, like an hour ago, and I'm feeling fine. My stomach is no, no problem. I don't know if it was just something that restaurant just, just wasn't good. But well, anyway, um, well, I just caught something. Anyway, so today, everything worked out more smoothly today. We got up, we got our bags, we put our stuff in. See, this is another thing. If we we're closer to the hotel, I would have done all my shopping yesterday, and then we could have put everything in there. And then, but anyway, he got sick somehow last night, like flu, and so, which I didn't mind coming home early because I really was not feeling the convention anyway. Um, but um, yeah, so we um, I got all my stuff. I um, bought what I wanted, loaded up his car, and um. Of his car and and just and we got hit baby. We drove drove me home and everything. It was good, but it's just you know it's getting worse. My depression and I, I really need to. I'm trying to fix it. I've I've really tried because what I need I know I need. I've been I've been trying. I have and nothing seems like it's working. I don't know why. And I I, I need. To improve this, I need to get this better. I'm I'm so tired of this. I love going to these conventions, but this year has been really bad, and I mean like like really bad. Um, but even so, like last night when I left, the, I I actually got back to another thing that was problem was la was last just last night no, no no two nights ago sorry Friday night I had to go to the bathroom really bad because I but I also had all this stuff with me I had all my 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 bow my quiver all that and I couldn't I mean it was hard to do anything so I'm like waiting waiting but when I got to the hotel I also, I went to the bathroom and I also broke down crying in the bathroom because I was upset I was and, and he, he, another thing I've been I've been trying to do this past month or so is be, is be more assertive. So even at work, when someone says, "Hey, can you do something?" And I go, "No, I'm busy right now." I'm not gonna say, "Oh, okay, well, give me." A... No, I'm telling you, "Hey, I'm busy. You need to wait." Like even with him, he goes, "Are you okay?" I said, "No, I'm not. I'm not unhappy right now." And I told him right out what I was feeling. Because I was not gonna lie. I was not gonna try to make it, you know, make it better. I wasn't. I was done. I was like, I am to the point. I am done for today. And like, I can feel myself right now drained as I'm sitting here, and just that's why it's taking me about know, the process. But I'm just like, I hope next year will be better. Hope maybe I'll have somebody. That's the main problem, guys. You know, to join me in my, you know, in this. I saw a lot of couples. I saw a lot of groups. And it's upsetting that you see the couples and they're, you know, doing the same cosplay or you know, something like that. Or you just, it's nice, to, you know, it's nice to do that. I've always wanted to do that. I don't want to do a cos group cosplay and it just never works out. Everybody fl flops, you know, bails out on you, you know. So it happens, you know. Well, you know, I appreciate you guys, you know, listening to me and, you know, this is therapy for me to, to do these videos even though you might not you think they're boring but it helps me out um, to make to try to do these things um, cause I'm just not in a good state right now I'm, I'm not really I'm not happy with my life I'm, this is also well I was gonna mention also why I did this in this room this room's not perfect but I have tried to make it look a little nicer. I also 
I, I tried to make it look the way I want it to look. And I've got some more photos I bought this weekend from artists and stuff that I'm going to put up after I frame them. So I definitely want to frame them to make them nice. But yeah, I mean, this is, this is why I want to do it here. This is my happy room. And I'm just... You know, I'm just, what I'm hoping things will change, I just don't get it sometimes, but, you know, it is what it is, so, you know, I'll see y'all next time, have a good day.